What's up guys, my name's Dominic and welcome to the Reviewer Executioner Corner. Today's review is on Estancho Miniature Chainsaw. So as always, I hope I'm saying their brand name correctly. Um, always pretty bad at that, but um, this is the case itself. Now it comes like a box that pretty much slips around this whole entire thing, um, but nothing really crazy to that. So let's just dive right in here. And upon opening it, we can see we have a whole bunch of stuff going on in here. So we can see we have a warranty card. It's nice. Um, they obviously give you the guide for the chainsaw itself. Um, I can see that we do have some protective gloves here. So that's nice as well. Give you some protective goggles. I can see the whole entire chainsaw itself. We'll get to that in a second. Um, I do see the blades here. So now I do know that you can do a six or an eight inch blade. I don't know if these are different types. Um, from just comparing it, I think this is the eight inch and this is possibly the six inch on here. So it's cool that they give you those different types in case you need a little bit more length. Um, I can see that we do have the charger here, so we got that. We do have some extra chainsaws, give you three of them, which is cool. Um, I've actually gotten these before, um, a lot of times they only give you one, so it's cool they give you three. Um, seems to be a little brush to clean out any debris that gets stuck inside of it. And then you have two batteries. So you got a battery there and then you have a battery here. So it's a 26 volt. Um, okay, so it does tell you. So it can tell you, all right, so we're at a full battery. That's great to start off. And then um, this is gonna be where you're gonna be charging it. So what you'll be doing is taking, let's see if we can undo this wire already. You'll be taking this, putting that in there and just letting it charge, so easy enough. And we'll check this one just to see maybe if it's at full too. Yeah, no, it's full as well. So it's great. Um, I do like that they give you a case, I'm not big with bags or anything like that. I do like that they give you um, everything organized in one whole spot. So that's nice too. And we will take this off. All right, so this is the whole entire miniature chainsaw itself. Um, you know, at first glance, seems really nice. Um, has a little bit of weight to it. Um, you're gonna obviously expect that because this is a tool, it's a chainsaw. Um, you do have a lock and unlock button here. Um, that's obviously to probably take the um, chainsaw bar or chain saw um chain itself off you do have a guard here so i'm sure you can see yeah so you can just flip that and take a look in there um this is obviously to go this is probably to um probably you know keep it there so it just keeps running so you don't got to hold it down the whole entire time um or it could be a safety lock so um before it just starts you possibly have to hit that too so Got that as well. You do have a little thread down here, you know, if you want to just like hook it to the side of you or something like that. But it's really nice. Actually, it's, uh, you know, it feels really nice. It's built really nice. I don't feel any real wiggles to it. Sorry about the camera shake. Um, what I'm gonna do real quick though, is I'm just gonna try and um, click this in and see if we can get uh, a little video of it just going. Um, we are going to demonstrate this as well. So we're going to go outside. We're going to test this out on a couple of um, trees and uh, see how it performs as well. Um, just to give you guys also an idea, this is a brushless motor. Um, so it's pretty easy going. Like I said, you can also do a six, eight inch um, chainsaws. Um, and we're going to try and also do a demonstration video possibly on showing how to replace the... Um, the chain itself um, so give me a second we're gonna probably do either the demonstration or we're gonna do the chainsaw demonstration next all right guys so one thing I want to go over real quick 
um, about this chainsaw is how to change the chainsaw bar in the chain itself. Um, so basically you go to this unlocking button, you untwist it all the way through, um, and it'll take off this whole entire black plastic mask off. And then you'll be able to get inside. Okay, so um, as you can see here, this is the chainsaw, this is the bar, and to take this off, pretty much you're gonna take this bar, you're gonna push it down a little bit. Um, that kind of loosens everything down here, and then you're just gonna kind of take it right on off. Um, and then you can switch off the bar, or if you need to take the actual chainsaw um, chain itself off, you just you know take it off and then just wrap it back around it. Um, to get it back on, you're basically just gonna loosely fit this back around this portion, place this back down, um, and just make sure that all, everything is caught inside all the grooves here. Um, that's gonna be a big important thing. Otherwise, you're gonna be pretty much sitting here um, putting this together, and when you go to start it up, it's not gonna work. So just make sure you double check everything here. Um, I'm just trying to get these little guys to go back in here. But once you have everything settled and everything's um, all good, I would take this, push this back up, um, just to make it nice and tight. And then you're gonna take this mask, you're gonna slide this portion back over this. You're gonna fit this back on top and then you're just gonna start twisting it back on there and make it tight. Um, I need a second because I need to just uh, use two hands to actually get this back in there, but you get the idea of how to um, change all that out. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually um, see how this performs on some little trees outside and um, stay tuned for the next What's one. up guys, so we are back and I have the chainsaw here and you can see it's a little dirty actually. Um, I've been using it. I've been just kind of clearing a path. I've been testing it out on small and juvenile trees um, Stuff like stuff like that thick or possibly that thick. Um, I'm not gonna try it on trees themselves um, Maybe with the 8 inch one I would but this is the 6 inch bar I have in right now um, So what I've been doing is been testing it out been cutting down a couple different things I don't know if you can actually see right here um, Been cutting that and I've been cutting off a couple other trees too. Um, but we're gonna test it out on something like this right here. So we got this little small guy. And we're gonna see, I mean, he's a little tall, but I need to clear him out and get him out of our way. So let's see how this works. You know, um, glides like butter, no issues at all. Um, been using it on pretty much like seven, eight different little juvenile trees and um, really performs well. So guys, if you're looking for a miniature chainsaw that really works, um, gives you, you know, a lot of extra parts too, which is really nice too. Um, in a nice case, I would really recommend um, a miniature chainsaw like this. So I hope this video gave you guys an idea of the performance of it. Um, and uh, have a great day.